Junior machine learning engineers can be a valuable asset to any company. In my experience, they are often passionate and eager to learn. With the right support and guidance, they can grow and develop their skills quickly and provide great benefit to their teams. They can bring new energy into the business and increase diversity. However, it is important for companies to provide junior engineers with a positive and supportive learning environment where they can experiment and take risks without fear of failure. By fostering a culture of learning and growth, companies can help junior engineers to thrive and become an integral part of their team. In turn, this can help companies to get the most value from their junior engineers and achieve their business goals. To create a positive and supportive environment for junior machine learning engineers, companies can take different actions. You should expose juniors to different aspects of the machine learning life cycle. For example, you can encourage engineers to work with data scientists and clients to identify problems that can be solved with AI. You can allow them to experiment with different data sets and build data pipelines to support their work. Let them develop and test machine learning algorithms, encourage collaboration with other teams and departments to integrate AI technology into existing products and platforms. Another valuable learning experience is to give AI juniors the opportunity to work on mid-sized projects. By providing them with the responsibility and ownership of a project, companies can help junior engineers to develop their skills and gain practical experience in applying their knowledge to real-world problems. Working on a mid-sized project, such as a data pipeline or collaborative filtering system, can provide engineers with the chance to experiment and learn from trial and error in a safe and supportive environment. This can help them to develop their confidence and abilities and prepare them for more advanced projects in the future. You should avoid expecting AI juniors to solve all problems and provide all solutions. Instead, offer them continuous support. Assigning each junior AI engineer a mentor who's more experienced can be an effective way to support their learning and development. Regular mentorship sessions can help junior AI engineers to grow their confidence, leadership, and communication skills. During mentorship sessions, the mentor can help the mentee to create a growth plan that focuses on both hard and soft skills. This can include setting goals, identifying areas for improvement, and providing guidance and support to help juniors to achieve the, those goals. While mentorship focuses on helping junior AI engineers to develop their skills and abilities, code reviews are a separate process that concentrates on the quality and fluency of their code. Juniors should undergo code reviews frequently, at least twice per week, to ensure that their code meets the required standards. During a code review, the code that a junior AI engineer has produced should be thoroughly scrutinized by a reviewer who is not necessarily their mentor. The reviewer should identify any problems or issues with the code and provide constructive feedback to help the junior AI engineer to improve. In addition to undergoing code reviews, juniors should also be encouraged to actively review the code of their colleagues. This can help them to learn from best practices and develop their own coding standards. Conducting pair programming sessions with AI juniors can be an effective way to improve the quality of their code. In my teams, I typically suggest having at least a couple of pair programming sessions per sprint to team members. This provides engineers with the opportunity to learn from their colleagues and improve their code quality in a collaborative and supportive environment. Allowing junior engineers to dedicate time to self-learning can be a valuable strategy for supporting their development and growth. By providing junior AI engineers with a day per sprint that they can dedicate to self-learning, companies can help them to develop their skills and abilities. During this dedicated time for self-learning, engineers should be able to attend courses, read books, or work on their personal projects. This can provide them with the opportunity to learn new skills and techniques and experiment with different approaches to problem solving. This investment can pay off 
in the long run with the newly acquired skills providing a significant benefit to the company. Effective communication is a crucial skill for AI juniors as it is essential for success in both technical and leadership roles. Unfortunately, many juniors struggle with communicating their ideas in an organized and effective manner. This can be a significant problem as they will likely take on leadership roles in the future. To help AI engineers develop their communication skills, I often suggest conducting regular presentation sessions where juniors can present a topic they're passionate about. These sessions can be 45 minutes long and at the end, colleagues can ask questions and provide constructive feedback. In my experience as a team leader, when juniors feel they're valued and they are given the space to grow, they will be loyal to the company and provide tremendous value. If you are a junior machine learning engineer, please be aware of the advice that I just gave. If you can find a company where you are given opportunities to expand experiment and fail, receive regular mentorship and code reviews, and have time for self-learning, trust me, you've hit the jackpot. Such a company will be your quickest career accelerator. If you work for a company that doesn't do that, it may be time to consider moving to a better place that values your contribution and pushes you forward. If you're looking to hire AI talent with a particular focus on music, sound, and speech applications, the Sound of AI recruitment is the perfect service for you. I'll leave you the link to our website in the description box. You can also check the video where I explain what we offer in detail. That was all for today. If you liked the video, remember to like it and subscribe. Until the next time.